Hey everyone, in this video I want to go over how we can use Ansible to enforce a standard VLAN compliance on Cisco IOS switches. Um, I do have a blog post that kind of goes into further detail of all the specific aspects of the, the playbook and the code and things like that. Um, this video I really just want to go over the flow and show you how it works. So in my directory here, I have my Ansible config file my netbox inventory, because that is where I'm getting my inventory from. And then this is my playbook. And then we have a roles directory. So before we take a look at the playbook, let's look at the roles directory. So as you can see, I have two roles here. One is SNMP v3 and one is standard VLANs. We're gonna take a closer look at the standard VLANs one, but I wanted to show you that we have these two folders and if we take a look at my network deploy playbook, you can see I'm using these two as the roles. Now, the playbook is pretty simple. Um, I'm configuring my access switches and I'm only doing it on this one specific host um, just for, for demonstration. It makes it easy and I'm not gonna you know, break, break anything. So, Let's dig into the role and see what it actually does. So let's do cat. Um, actually, you know what? I'll use V to go in there. And it's roles, tasks, or sorry, roles, standard VLANs under the tasks folder, and it's main.yaml. So in here, you could see we have a couple of things. First of all, is this comment that to actually use this, you have to install the Cisco.iOS from Ansible Galaxy. Uh, that's how we could use this Cisco.iOS.iOS VLANs module in Ansible. In this module, I have all my VLANs defined with a simple name and then a VLAN ID. So we have VLANs 3, 100, 200, 300, 400, and then 999. Pretty simple. So, Let's quit here and let me clear the screen. Before I run the playbook, I'm gonna go into the switch and sh show VLAN brief. As you can see, we just have VLAN one, VLAN three, and then the other you know, default VLANs on a Cisco switch. So let's go ahead and run this play. Ansible playbook. Um, it's called network deploy.yaml. All right, it's going to ask for my password. And we'll let it run. It shouldn't take very long. All right, so you can see we have the task for that role. It was fine. And now we have the standard VLAN role. And you can see this role or this task, it actually did change something. So let's head over to the switch. And now we can see we added all those VLANs and they all have the correct name, which is pretty cool. Um, if, we, if we ran that playbook one more time, since it's item potent, it won't show that it changed. It would just so show that it's okay. But what I wanted to do is show you the, the cool part about this, because you know obviously this is just on one host, really not that big of a deal. But if we did this through all our switches, it, we can easily deploy the VLANs. So one thing I wanted to show you is if we go back into this YAML file, we can add a VLAN to every switch in our environment with two lines. All we have to do is come in here, go down. Let's create a new VLAN. The name will be, um, Let's just call it YouTube demo. And the VLAN ID will be, uh, let's say 500. All right, so we'll run the playbook one more time. All right, it's running the first task. All right, 
So we can see it changed again. We'll go down to our switch and we have YouTube demo is now in there. So as you could tell, this is really powerful because we can just, you know, we can add a new VLAN to all of our switches with just two lines of code. And it's not even complicated code. It's just literally writing the name and the VLAN ID. Now, the other cool part about this is I'll show you in a minute. I forgot to go over that. We're using the override uh, keyword. But if I go into the switch and I manually configure a VLAN, let's say it's VLAN um, 61 name name is um, manual VLAN. Okay. So I have this VLAN that, you know, someone manually created in the CLI and we don't want that. We want all of our VLANs to be in Ansible. So if I go back in here and run the play one more time, Again, it'll take a minute. All right, so we could see something changed. And what changed is if we go back to the switch, the VLAN 61 is no longer there. And the reason that happened is because in this iOS VLAN module, I'm using the state overridden, which basically tells it to replace the entire configuration with this. So any VLANs that aren't in, that aren't defined here will not be allowed to remain. And if the VLAN is missing and it's defined here, will be added. So pretty cool, pretty easy. Um, just kind of a cool way to see how roles work and how we can start to use some infrastructure as code stuff to help manage our configuration. So. If you have any questions, please leave them below or check out the blog post and leave um, you know questions or comments there. Thanks for watching.